So Windows 11 is here, and these are the highlights and what it means for you. A lot to talk about here, of course, with all the rounded corners, redesigned windows and icons, transparencies, the start menu now being centered, and all these things coming together to give you a more modern look and experience. And the new themes look pretty cool too, and dark mode and light mode both look pretty amazing, so comment down below on which one you plan to use. So with Snap Layouts, you can right-click on the Maximize button, choose the layout and which way you want your windows, and then just snap them into their places. And along with this, there's a new feature called Snap Groups. This is where you can group applications together along with their layouts, so everything is right where you want it. So it seems like the total replacement of Teams for Skype is complete, and this will also make things interesting with the integration of Azure Virtual Desktop with Teams and AV Redirection. I've got mixed feelings about widgets because I honestly don't use them on my phone. Comment below if you use widgets and tell me what I'm missing. So comment below if you knew if this feature existed in Windows 10 and if it's a new one for you, how you plan on using it. So Auto HDR is going to enhance your visual experience on Windows 11, which by itself is very cool. The inclusion of standard Win32 apps along with PWA and UWP apps. Go check out my two-minute tutorial series over here where I cover a bunch of topics really quick and we will have more on the new features of Windows 11 when those become available. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time. Happy learning.